missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And basically what that means is for 18 months, I am going to be preaching the gospel and I've been called to serve in Iowa speaking Spanish. So I'm super duper excited. I just can't wait to begin. So this entire process of like preparing for my mission has been so fun. So I vlogged a ton when I went shopping with my mom for like dresses and stuff. Without further ado, let's go shopping together. Okay, we are at the first set of stores, mom and I. I need to use the Pawnee so bad. <laughs> yeah, first stop is the bathrooms and then we'll see where we're gonna go next. Okay, we're at the first store. I am so excited for this, you guys. Like this is so exciting for me because it makes it really like real, you know, that I'm actually headed out on a mission. Um, I'm so excited. And so um, I'm looking for a bunch of different clothing pieces that are very versatile that I could pair with a lot of different things because I will obviously only be bringing my suitcase and that's what I'll bring with me. So I don't have a ton of space. I mean, I can always buy things there, but yeah, so I don't have a ton of space in my suitcase. So I want pieces of clothing that match with a bunch of different things so I could have like a lot of different outfits, you know, but like the same pieces that rotate. Hopefully that makes sense. So for example, like this is so cute. That is like so cute and it would work so good. So I'm gonna try that on. Yeah, there's like a few other pieces that I'm looking yeah, from this store. Yeah, I'm I'm just so excited. This is way fun. Outfit one. Okay, I paired pants with these just because I wanted to try on these pants because normally I don't go for like wide leg pants, but these ones are like really cozy and comfy, so they're kind of fun. Um, and I really like this top because I've never been to Iowa, but I've heard it gets really cold. So like in the winters, so this would be nice and it pairs with like a lot of the skirts that I already own. So I like this. It looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have found a few things. This is fun because it's like an outdoorsy mall. So you get to like walk outside and it's like nice and pretty, but we're actually, we might go and visit Audrey and we might go to the dinner with her. I think that'd be really fun. So yeah, we got to see if she's busy. She might be super busy with school because we got a busy school schedule, but if she is free, we might see her today. So that would be really awesome if we can. But as for this little outside mall, I think we're hitting one more store and then we're gonna go to a different area <laughs> that has like a store specifically for missionaries because they have like missionary shoes that would be really good. I'll be walking a lot, so I want ones that are that are really good. So yeah. We just finished with the first mall. Oh my goodness. My feet actually kind of My hurt. feet hurt lie. too. We got good shoppers. <laughs> I know, for some reason today, we're just like really tired. So we're not giving up yet though. We're going to another place. We're gonna drive a ways. And the goal <laughs> is to find shoes next because I really need some good churchy, dressy shoes that are really comfortable and like supportive, you know? So yeah. that's the goal. We'll see if we find anything. If not, I'm gonna have to look online. Oh my goodness, guys. We just arrived. It's like dark outside. <laughs> but look, Sister Missionary Mall, and I'm so excited to go inside because like, I know that everything in there will work for a mission. Like every, all the dresses will like, I don't know, like everything will just last me a long time and it'll all be great. This is so cool. Okay, we're in here, they have like, these binders of different missions and like from sisters who served there and they filled out like a little survey and what type of clothing like was best and all of their tips so and recommendations. There, yeah, because I've never been to Iowa so I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> but yeah, this is literally perfect. So anybody who's watching who's preparing for a mission, this is a great place to start shopping. <laughs> I'm like, this is yeah. pretty nice. Look who we just met up with! And we went to Zupas, of course, because Zupas is really good. So we got lots of sandwiches and soup and chalky strawberries. Super duper yummy. I'm very excited. So excited to see Audrey and Spencer as well. Sorry, it's really loud in here, so that's why I'm so close. But we're gonna eat and then begin the trek back home. <laughs> it's literally like pitch black outside. Oh yeah, you guys have a long time. Yeah. Drive. And we're back! <laughs> okay, it's actually been quite a while, so I'm gonna give you a little haul of some stuff. I have some other things in the mail on the way as well. So, starting off with shoes, I'm so excited for these shoes. So, I found these really cutesy, look at these, they're like 
really nice shoes. They're Dr. Scholl shoes. That's how you spell it. Yeah, and they're like squishy. I don't know how to explain it. It's really good because these are supposed to be um, really nice for being able to be standing all day long because missionaries are usually out like walking a lot. And so I wanted to get shoes that are durable and that will last me. So I found these on Amazon and they're really cute. Like, dude, these are really cute shoes. And then I also got these Toms and they're like big um, Mala ones and they have like memory foam padding, which is really nice. So hopefully these last me a long time as well. And then I also got these boots right here. These are from um, Spiri and they're nice because they're like insulated so it kind of keeps your foot a little bit warm, um, but they're also rain boots because I know in Iowa it snows a lot and I think it rains a bit, so um, I want to be prepared. <laughs> so for anybody who is also shopping for a mission, hopefully this helps a little bit um, sharing some of the brands that I got. And then for some of my dresses and skirts, so I really wanted to get like bright colored things because I mean, I like the bright colors. And so I went with <laughs> this skirt, which is so cute and it's got this like fun material and this is from down east and I actually got so many things from down east they were really good because they had some skirts and dresses and they also had just like plain basic t-shirts which is really nice because I could use like I just want very versatile items so I can make a ton of outfits you know thinking ahead <laughs> and then I also I got this from I think this is I think this was from Bohm, maybe. Um, it's another skirt, ta-da! And it's just a really cute, fun pattern and cut as well. I love it. I'm so excited for all of these outfits, and I'm just so excited to go on my mission. Most of all, like, like these outfits are fun and everything, but I'm more so excited just to like be on my mission, and oh, I just can't wait. And so, um, one of the other dresses that I got was this one. It's like a greeny blue one. It's like a full on dress and then it has the top like this. And so then I can wear either like a short sleeve shirt underneath or like a long sleeve shirt, depending on what time of year it is. And it's so cute. Or if it's like really cold, I could throw a sweater over top of it, you know? So those are some of the dresses and skirts that I got. And then life hack for anybody who lives in cold places, because I do this here in Utah as well. When it gets snowy and it gets in the winter time, it gets so cold. And sometimes it's really cold to wear like a dress or a skirt and so life hack is to get leggings that actually are like fleece lined so and then you can wear these underneath your dresses and skirts so these have like you can't even see it but it's fleece lined so they'll keep you warm I'm excited for that I am I'm a little bit nervous for the winters <laughs> because snow is not really my thing but I think I'll be prepared with my leggings and my coats <laughs> So that's some of the things that I bought and kind of where I got them from and other things I've done to prepare for my mission is um, you guys know I'm going to be serving Spanish speaking and I actually don't know any Spanish <laughs> so I took German in high school and I know a little bit of German and then obviously English and I don't know any Spanish so I'm super duper excited to learn literally I cannot wait and so I've already tried um, learning a bit beforehand because um, if you guys don't know missionaries go to this place before their mission called the MTC or the Missionary Training Center and for me that's where I'm gonna be learning Spanish and so hopefully I'll be able to pick it up pretty fast and then you learn more about like preaching the gospel and stuff like that so yeah obviously I'll learn most of the Spanish there but it's never a bad idea to do a little bit of extra work beforehand and be prepared um that's how I roll so I have a libro de mormon aka the book of mormon in spanish and something that i've been doing is i've been going through this and i've been reading it out loud even though i'm not fluent at all and some things i don't understand some things i do it's really really helped a lot with pronunciation because i'll read it and then i'll check to make sure i pronounced it right and it's it's been super nice to help with pronunciation and something that i've done is i've gone through yeah and as i read it i will like highlight whenever god or jesus christ is mentioned and that has also helped too because then i'm like looking for keywords and like context clues and stuff so that's been really awesome i really really love doing that and then i've been using like i think it's been like rosetta stone and duolingo and stuff like that other apps on my phone to try and learn spanish i've been like <laughs> listening to podcasts 
podcasts in Spanish, like beginner podcasts and songs, and I've watched movies in Spanish and tried to really get it into my brain beforehand. And then I've also just been like writing out different things that help because I have a few friends that speak Spanish. So I've written out like the translation to different things and just different phrases and stuff that I want to learn. So like this page was all about like sharing a scripture. So I learned how to say that in Spanish and stuff. And it's been really, really fun for me. <laughs> I, I've really loved learning Spanish. It's been super fun. So that's a little glimpse into some of the things that I've done to prepare for my mission. And yeah, I think as of right now, I'm pretty ready to go. I can't wait. <laughs> this is like wild to be making this video because that means it's like really soon. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about um, missions or missionaries for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I am actually making a video on my second channel, Jordan Mae Williams, where I answer like a bunch of questions that people have about what missionaries do. So be sure to check out that video if you would like to learn more. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!